Hello and welcome back to the Spanish campaign. We are currently fighting against the Brutii in Greece. We've managed to take Sparta, Corinth, Athens, and Thurman off the Brutii. So we've made a lot of progress in Greece. But now we do have to face the rather horrifying army of Valerius Servianus. He has full strength Praetorians, early legionaries, auxilia, onagers, legionary cavalry. Yeah, this is a very scary army, and it's just out in the field outside of Athens. They could go ahead and besiege us this turn if they wanted to. So we are definitely scared of this army, and we're going to need to defeat Valerius Servianus probably in the field here soon if we want to move on to taking Larissa. We also just took Segestica off of the Brutii, so we're going to let the troops in Segestica rest overnight, let the unrest go down a little bit in the city, and then we'll send them across the river over to pick up a quincum. We want to just start pushing back on the Brutii, give them no rest, no chance to reconvene and move their armies around. Um, we just want to completely choke them out, keep the pressure on them, and knock them out of the game as fast as possible. Luckily, we managed to locate a half-stack army of kind of flimsy, mostly Primarian troops on this ship. Um, there's just one, I think, Quinkerim that we've managed to push all the way back to the Hellespont. And we have our massive navy commanded by Admiral Adoran, who will hopefully be able to sink this ship next turn. If not, we'll just keep pushing it back further and further into the Black Sea. And eventually, we will be able to sink this army. And yeah, it's always nice to be able to take some troops off of the sea before they're able to make it to land. So you don't have to actually fight them in a protracted battle. In France, we have one more little British army, just a couple units that we need to destroy. And then we won't have any more Britons anywhere on France. So we're building up some ports right now. We're trying to build them in San Marobriva, Conde Redonum, and we're building some ships all the way down in Numantia. So we just want to get a nice big navy up in the north in the English Channel so we can start blockading all of these ports and prevent the Britons from invading us anymore. We just want to completely neutralize them as a threat. Now, before the end of the turn, we can go ahead and take these just population, this thousand population we had over in the region of Alessia and disband them inside of Conde Redonum, which allows us to build our warlord's hold here. And in two turns, we'll be able to build a port here. In Samarobriva, we'll be able to start building a port next turn. So we are very quickly approaching being able to build up a navy. Now it's just going to be those basic poor boats, um, which are not very good at all. They will not do well against the big fleets of large boat pirates up here. But we just need to get some boats in the water so we can start blockading the British. And before we end the turn, let's go ahead and attack this British army, see if we can get them out of here. It's a bit of a difficult battle just because of the strength of the Chosen Swordsman, but we have enough cavalry that we should be able to cause a break. Um, we'll see, and we might get a man of the hour out of this, so that's really why I'm doing this without a general. I want to see if we can do it and get a man of the hour. So as usual, when we have a lot of cavalry against not many units, we want to just totally encircle them. So we'll send these two units to the front and put the general behind them or the commander behind them these two units will go all the way out on the flank and let's let's keep this moving at double game speed these two units can go out on this flank you two go ahead to the front and once they feel nice and surrounded we should be able to attack from all sides and cause a break All right, the unit of head hurlers is coming out to face these two units of cavalry, which will not work out for them. They'll skirmish now that we're charging in. Actually, it looks like they're they're not skirmishing. They're just going to take the charge, which will not go well for them. They are uh, not doing well. They've broken already. Yeah, 
this unit of Chosen Swordsman will do better against this unit of Long Shields. They're shaken for now, but then we have three more units coming in to assist, and this unit will break as well. Let's get our general in here for moral support, and then we can deal with the commander's unit of Chosen Swordsman. Yep, this first unit of Chosen Swordsman has already broken. We will send the rest of the army in to finish off the commander's unit, and that's the battle won. Enemy commander's dead, and yeah, nice easy skirmish. We'll run down the last few troops, and will we catch up with them? Maybe, just barely, just barely before they reach the red line. I know this is unnecessary, but it's fun. I love head hurlers. Such a funny missile unit. There we go, killed them all. We took 178 casualties. Let's see if we get a man of the hour out of this. No, we didn't, but that makes sense. We did outnumber the enemy, so I didn't really expect one. You just never know when you'll get a man of the hour. They come at the randomest times. So we will go ahead and bring this army into Samarobriva, and we'll put together a decent army out of Samarobriva of cavalry, Norbert the Elephant, Kerbasi the Conqueror, and we will first take out Ireland, trapping the Britons to just their starting three settlements, and then we will turn our attention to the Germans, get back to conquering, and try and conquer through all of this land. We have a diplomat over by Segestica. I'm gonna send him south in case we run into any small armies without a general that we could bribe just to get some troops off the battlefield so we don't have to fight them. That would be helpful for the broody eye. All right, let's go ahead and end this turn. All of our generals are moving across North Africa. We were besieged at Thurman. And the Egyptians have finally made contact with us. They want trade rights. I'm all right with that. Let's see how many regions they have. Oh my goodness, they have a lot of regions. Looks like they've taken over about half of the world. Uh, shall we exchange map information? Ah, fine, I'll give you 6,000 for map information. I just wanna see what it looks like. Ooh, that's a big empire. I'll see if they accept an alliance. They won't, yeah, they won't. <laughs> We are definitely going to be at war with them very soon. New suitable husband for Huktia, 16 years old. He's a good commander. Gabriel of Cartagonova. Let's see where he spawns. Carolus. Yeah, a lot of our generals are spawning at Carolus because that's currently our capital. So he looked pretty good, honestly. Gabriel of Cartagonova. And another 16 year old came of age this turn in the same city who's even-handed, a poor trader, social drinker. They look like they could be good friends. We'll send them off on this fleet and we'll we'll get them involved somewhere. We'll let, let's see if we can get a mercenary captain for them by buying some mercenaries. Nope, not yet, but yeah, we'll, we'll try and get these guys involved. These two 16 year olds can stay together and go do some conquests. Our end of turn report, we profited 9,173 denarii. And yes, as we saw, Thurman was besieged by the Broody Eye. We'll sally out here and let's just see if we can get some kills with our Slingers, with our Cretans. This has been working out for us lately, so we're going to try it here. In this case, they have Praetorians and Onagers. So if they want to knock down the walls and fight, they will be able to. But we have Cretans, we have Scutari that can sit on the walls, and we have Slingers. So we should be able to salvage this even if they get very aggressive. But I just, I like sallying out, I like having a fight, I don't want to wait for them to starve us out. Now I don't want to put my Cretans on the same side as the Onagers because they will usually just fire directly at the wall in front of them. So let's put our Cretans right here. See if there are, yeah, we can shoot some Praetorians at the start of the battle. That's a good target for them. We will then put some Slingers right at the front gate and on the other side over here. These guys might die to the Onagers, so we will put them partially on the gateway as well and hopefully they'll avoid the collapsing wall right here if that's where they target with the Onagers. We'll get another unit of Slingers to go over here on the other side of hopefully where that wall crumbles and get some more kills on anyone who stands near the walls. And we'll do the same right here. Just 
put all of our slingers up on the walls in case they come near the walls. We want to get some kills on them. All right, that's all of our slingers. Now let's get some Scutari and some bull warriors on the walls near towers so they can be replaced when they use all of their javelins. So we will place them here with fire at will enabled. Yeah, this is, this is the right way to put them on the walls. We don't want to have a situation again where it's taking us forever to move around our heavy infantry. We want them near the towers so they can come on and off the walls if needed. And then we'll just have a bunch of our remainder heavy infantry hang out by the front gate just in case they do knock down the front gate or knock down the wall and they want to fight in the streets. We want to have some heavy infantry here prepared to fight in the streets. So any units we find that are not hanging out on the walls will hang out in front of the walls. So we have just a nice defensive force here. We will send some cavalry outside of the city as well just to tempt the enemy to come up to the walls and get shot by my slingers. But I think we've assigned all of our important troops. Don't see anyone away from the walls. Let's go ahead and start the battle and we will target these Praetorians with our Cretans. Let's go ahead and send out some round shields and see what we can attempt to come in range of our slingers. I'll turn on guard mode for my Cretans because I don't actually want them to pursue the uh, Praetorians as they go out of range. Just fire at who you can reach. We'll, yeah, continue firing at the Praetorians for a little while. Let's get our cavalry over here, and then we'll fire at the Thracians when that's the only thing we can reach, because they have very poor armor. They'll be a good target for the Cretans. All right, yes, let's shoot the Thracians, see if we can get some kills on them. And I wonder if anyone's gonna turn their attention to my cavalry. I'm gonna go ahead and attack their onagers with my cavalry because they're not paying any attention. So yeah, if they're gonna leave their onagers behind, I'll go ahead and knock them out. And still no reaction from the auxilia nearby. We'll be able to break these onagers and wrap them up. Yep, no auxilia reaction, no Praetorian reaction. We'll just get both of these units of onagers right now. And now that the onagers are off the field, they have no way of knocking down our walls. So we can play a little more aggressively and we're not in danger of them retaliating knocking down the walls and getting their Praetorians in and winning the battle. So we can just use up all of our ammunition, pestering them and see how many kills we can get. Now we have four units of cavalry here. We probably will lose if we charge into any of these units. So I'm just gonna move them up a little bit. I don't think we could take this uh, 108 legionary cavalry, but I'm just seeing if we can get someone to chase us maybe. I'll send back the long shields and get them just back by the front gate. And then let's get our round shields to just maybe just get attacked. And if they get pursued once they break, then they will draw the enemy into our missile troops. So they can charge into the, the uh, legionary cavalry. They'll obviously lose this. But actually, they've done some damage to the legionaries before they break. So that's fun. Get some kills in, guys. Good job. Okay, they've broken. Hopefully the legionaries will pursue and we can get some kills with our missile troops. No sign of pursuit from the broody eye, unfortunately. I'm gonna see if I can get my Cretans to at least fire their arrows before we give up this battle though. I don't think we're going to be able to pull them in range of my slingers and my towers and Scutari and all the rest, but we'll see if we can. All right, the Cretans are almost in position. We don't have a shot yet, but probably once the whole unit gets up on the walls, we will have a shot in some, at least mercenary, held task, something like that. Just do a little bit of damage. And you never know, we might tempt them into something stupid. So come on over to this portion of wall. And yes, we do have a shot on most of the enemy army. 
Let's fire up this unit of Praetorians, this unit of 161. Just see if we can get some damage on them. We have the height advantage, so should do some good damage to them. They're down to 147 and taking more damage. 128, 125. Let's just weaken up this whole half of the army. We'll shoot these Praetorians in the back. Because if we happen to do a charge with the long shields into the side and it works, this would be a decent flank to hit. Just get some kills on some Praetorians, see if we can break them. And yeah, I don't know if we've done enough damage for that to work. But we can try it. There's no harm. That's all we really have these long shields for is just sallying out and seeing if we can break units. Cretans are all out of ammo. We'll get them off the walls. We'll bring up some slingers just in case. I don't think we will get a chance to use them but we'll try it out and these basic slingers are notorious for having horrendous range so probably will not be in range of the enemies but these enemies are pretty close so we might be in range of something no it doesn't look like it not quite unfortunately one last ditch effort i'm gonna see if i bring my round shields over here if we can tempt them into range of these slingers you never know sometimes stuff like that works any chance? Are you tempted? Yes, these Lyri well, these mercenary pothas, they're kind of tempted. I doubt they'll actually do it. Maybe if we charge them, will they follow us? Uh, no, not really. We'll try one more time charging with the long shields. I doubt this will work, but if we start an actual proper fight, oh, they, they, they got into range, they got into range. Okay, everyone just hang out where you are. Slingers are, they have a shot on these Praetorians. Yes, don't mind if I do. See, this is why we do what we do. I really thought this was not gonna work, but this is gonna work. We're gonna turn on guard mode. I do not want you guys moving anywhere. Just fire it where you can reach. Ah, uh, yeah, they moved, unfortunately. Get back over here. All right, just halt there. Fire it where you can reach. This is amazing. We're going to kill so many Praetorians here. Great thing about Slingers is they just have unlimited ammo. Let's let's get the, the point of view of these guys. Ooh, not pretty. Okay, this unit is going into Testudo, so you should fire instead at... What can you reach? Uh, that's all you can reach. Okay, stop firing for now. And then this unit over here, are you firing at the cavalry? What are you firing at? Oh, you're firing at mercenary pelt test. That's good. I'll redraw up these slingers. Just see if we can get some other shot anywhere else. Just, yeah, drop there. If I could get a shot on these Praetorians below us, that would be ideal. Oh, there we go. Fire. That would be so ideal. There we go. That's a good shot. And now the other unit can reach these legionary cavalry, which is the target I really wanted to hit because they're so deadly when they're charging into other cavalry. But when they're just getting picked apart by slingers, not so tough anymore. Look at that. Oh, they're falling apart so fast. We'll just use up the rest of our ammunition here, take out this unit of Praetorians, this unit of legionaries, and then, I don't know. Do we bring in more slingers, see if we can get more damage in with them? Why not, right? This unit of slingers has used all their ammunition, so we'll take them off the walls. This unit of slingers is down to, yeah, they're out of ammunition as well. We'll take them off the walls too. And honestly, this army is such a disorganized mess. I'm gonna just go ahead and kill these Praetorians because they're testudo away from the rest of the army. I will keep this on double game speed or normal game speed just because I don't wanna make a mistake and run into hoplites or something like that. But yeah, I mean, units in a testudo do really badly against cavalry. So these guys are dead. Broken already. Perfect. Run them down a little bit and then just pull back. We have fresh units of slingers, which we'll bring up on the walls and see if we can use them. All right, this unit is in position. They don't have a shot at the moment, but if the army moves around again like it's been doing, 
we'll have a shot. So let's just let these slingers go up on the walls, the second unit, and we'll send the units that ran out of ammo back to the other half of the army because it seems like that was a good balance before where troops over there may have been drawing the enemy army a little bit closer. So we'll send those slingers back and let's see if they come back in range of my slingers. And I have kind of an unconventional plan, which is I'm just gonna grab some of these heavy infantry and just bring them out and see if I can use their javelins. Because if they charge us and they charge into range of the slingers again, then they'll break. And if I'm able to use my javelins, if they don't react, then at least I can use all my missiles. So we'll try that. And I'll send out my general as well, just in case they charge their whole army into my whole army. I want to have my general nearby for morale. And I'll grab some more heavy infantry that were on the walls before, just in case we need them. All right, we'll bring up our infantry to form a line right here. And just slowly push towards the enemy. If they want to just fight us here, that would be so nice. We'll keep our cavalry on the wing in case we need them. We'll move up slightly. Their only real missile troops here are their Praetorians, Legionaries, that kind of stuff, and some Illyrians. So they don't have any archers, which means we're not in that much danger of taking a lot of casualties from missiles. We will skirmish with these Lyrians, and they'll get more missiles from us than they send back. So I think, yeah, this will be good for us. We have, for now, just, hmm, none of our troops are in range. We'll send a couple of our units to throw their javelins in, and then I'll tell them to stop. I don't want them actually chasing them into the army, but just get some missiles in. Yeah, just hang out here, see if you can get some javelins in. Kind of feels like they're going to charge into me soon, but so far they haven't. Let's just move up a little bit with these heavy infantry. Keep my general nearby, keep my cavalry nearby. All right, they're in range of us with their pila. We're in range of them with our javelins, and we already have a break. This is... This is why I hate Spain. Scutari, you were supposed to be good quality heavy infantry and you've already broken just from a few missiles? You are cowards. All right, we're gonna throw off all of our javelins with these three units at least, and then we'll pull them back. Okay, these Scutari have reformed. I wish I could just charge in on one of these flanks with cavalry and just start a break. But I don't think I can. I'll grab my infantry from inside the city, just see if we can use their javelins. We have a few more javelins in this unit that broke, so we'll use them. You have a shot on anyone? Not quite. Go up to there. Use your javelins. There you go. Yeah, take out these Thracians, that's good. Thracians broke. We have a few more units of bull warriors, which we'll bring over here. And let's keep my general very close, just in case. You guys go ahead and throw your javelins in. Honestly, we've killed 41% of the enemy army. I'm so tempted to just start a fight here. Like, I know this is a bad idea, but it doesn't feel like a bad idea. So is it really a bad idea? <laughs> it looks like they want to fight here. Like they're so close to us. Are you sure you don't want to fight? Okay, they're throwing more javelins in. I will use rally troops again just to keep everyone feeling good. And let's get my last unit of Scutari over here to throw some more javelins in at these auxilia. All right, we got those javelins in, and then we have two units of slingers, which we pulled off the walls. I'm gonna see if I can get a shot with their slings, but it might not work out. All right, I'm gonna draw them up right here. Oh, they do have a shot, wow. Okay, 
We'll let them get some shots in. I'm going to get my general out of the way so he doesn't accidentally die to these slingers. And who are you firing at? Oh, yeah. Right in the front. That's good. Doing damage to these Praetorians. And we'll just fire as many stones as we can. If they allow us to do this, we'll weaken their center a lot. And then we'll just charge in with infantry. And this should be a pretty easy battle. They're down to 105 and 67. Yeah, definitely thinning out this front line. Down to 99 in the Praetorians unit. These gold slings are definitely useful. Okay, everyone's repositioning. So they have another strong unit at the center here, these early legionaries. Let's see if we can do some damage before we run out of ammo. Just fire the rest of your stones into this unit. And they are using their javelins, unfortunately. We have a break. We'll see if we can salvage this front line. Okay, wow, the whole front line's broken. Come on, guys. Reform. Spanish soldiers are so cowardly in this game. It's crazy. Please reform, guys. This is preposterous. Okay, we have a couple units reformed. I am not feeling confident about this battle. If this is the quality of troops that I'm using. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I can win this. I mean, they just have too much heavy infantry. We've killed 51% of them, but I don't know if it's enough. And we have so much heavy cavalry, or, or I guess medium cavalry. It's just, if it's not enough to cause a break, we can't win this, so... Yeah, we might have to call this quits. Let's try one charge. We'll just bring our cavalry over here. Guard this flank with this strong unit of bull warriors. And, okay, are they charging? No, they're just repositioning. Yeah, just repositioning. Guys, why are you shaking already? Can you not do that, please? And do we want to just charge these early legionaries? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to have a huge break happen. Let's just fall back. Just run. As anticlimactic as this is, as much as I wanted to just fight them, this is definitely the right choice. Yeah, this army is just too flimsy, too cowardly. Would not have worked out. But that was a pretty successful sally. We didn't lose too many troops. We did lose a lot of troops to just javelins, but... We definitely got the better of them in this little sally. Um, we'll try again next turn. Your sally has been successful. You may leave the battle. We killed 1,263 of them and lost 391. I'm happy with that. So Thurman is still besieged. Narbo Mardius has grown. This is so nice. All of my cities in Gaul are finally growing. We have a couple broody eye ships here. Luckily, no armies. That would be horrifying if we just saw a huge broody eye army on one of these ships. Just going to start retaking cities like Massilia. That would be wild. Let's take a look at our construction report. A whole lot. Oska, we got a great market. Lugdanum, we got a sacred grove. We'll go for communal farming here. We want to get that population growth rate up. In Lepkis Magna, we got a great market, which we will leave. We don't need a tavern there. We'll go for Shipwright at Thurman, at Samarobrava. We can finally build our port. So exciting. And at Sagestaga, we won't build anything because there's really nothing to build when you have no population. And we're going to bring back our diplomat, actually, because we've got a couple broody eye armies with no generals. We'll see if we can bribe them in a turn or so. And then uh, let's grab some... Cavalry to send across the river to Aquincum. We'll grab Tiberius Paulinus, grab some nice strong units of cavalry, and one unit of Scutari to hold the ram. And how unhappy are you if I do that? That's actually not horrible, public order. We will see if we can take some more as well. Actually, they are happy for me to leave the city undefended because I think their unrest feels a little bit better when they don't have their occupiers in the city. So we'll just leave some Illyrians behind and we'll try to bribe this broody eye army. 
And then we have Grazi the Honest with some more long shields over at Patavium. So if we need to defend Segestica, we can. We'll grab some Bull Warriors from Iridium and Ariminum and send them over to Patavium next turn. So let's go ahead and march across the river. I guess it's not really across the river, but march up to Aquincum, just a few turns away. And Vibius Tullius is barely defended down here by Athens. Let's see if we can put together an army to just grab him. See if we can kill a another broody eye general. We don't have much here, but we just have so much heavy cavalry. I feel like we could win this. I know that that's a little bit silly, but I'm pretty sure we can win this. I'm going to try it. Let's just fight this battle. We have heavy infantry. We have heavy cavalry. Vibius Tullius has some really strong infantry. He's been in the wars, but he's not that good of a commander. We're going to try it out. One thing we need to be aware of in this battle is that the enemy have some archer auxilia. So we want to neutralize them early with our cavalry, and then we can deal with the rest of the army with my infantry. We'll just have the infantry hang back for now. Let's start the battle. And they're probably in range already with the uh, archer auxilia. Let's just pull back a little bit. We have the high ground a little bit, so that's helpful. I wonder if they will pursue with their archer auxilia. Looks like they're not interested in starting the fight. So we could get aggressive with them. Let's bring our Scutari up to here. We'll walk them and then we will have our general, our actual commanding general go right behind. And then we'll just have our four other generals units march over to the side. And let's see here. You guys can run the Scutari. Looks like they're moving up to face us. I think they want to get some shots in with their Archer Auxilia. I will go ahead and fight them off with my General's units. Definitely do not want them just sitting there firing their Archer Auxilia at us. So yeah, go ahead, push back. And if we can just chase them right up with... Oh wow, are they going to let us charge in with Cavalry? I don't want to fight the early Legionaries, but I would love to fight Archer Auxilia. Hmm. Back up a little bit. We don't want to get in a long, protracted fight here. We just want to head off the Archer Auxilia, get out of there with my generals, and let's get my Scutari involved. We'll pull them up here, get them to throw their javelins in, keep their general nearby in case their morale suffers. Come on, pull back. Get out of there, general. All right, so Scutari are in range. They are taking some javelins from these legionaries. We'll go ahead and use rally troops in case we have any morale issues and we'll just throw in our own javelins and yeah, just exchange javelins back and forth. Morale's doing all right. Archer auxilia are just broken. Yeah, they kind of charged the front of my infantry. I don't know what the plan was there. I think they got confused with their skirmish. So that's good for me. We'll help out with the morale a little bit. We'll just use the rest of our javelins, throw them into these Praetorians, into these legionaries. And then once the infantry has done their thing, we will grab the cavalry and start charging into the flank. So yeah, these early legionaries over here will be a nice, easy flank to charge into. We will also have the Scutari get involved. Yeah, Scutari, you two can charge in here, you two charge in here, have the general stay nearby and rally troops, and then let's get my general's units over here on the flank to attack these early legionaries, hopefully break them. They're eager for now, steady, but they're overwhelmed here. They're shaken, yeah, they should break pretty quickly. Wavering, broken, beautiful. And we'll just see if we can wrap up the whole army here, go straight for these Praetorians. The general is nearby, so the general could get involved, but we've already broken these Praetorians. Let's get our infantry to focus their general. I'm a little concerned that my actual general's soldiers are exposed here. But let's just see if we can break these legionaries at the end. 
and then the battle will be basically won. Let's get my commanding general involved. We'll use rally troops and see if we can hunt down the enemy general. Yeah, we've got a general right at the front here. We're definitely losing a general in this battle, but it's worth it to get rid of this army, get rid of this general, hopefully. These legionaries are wavering. The general's unit is steady, but dwindling in numbers. Oh, they're wavering. Any chance we can kill the general? That would be really nice. Okay. Everyone focus the enemy general because we've broken the legionaries. Can we kill this general, please? I know he has extra hit points, but I want to kill him. Beautiful. Enemy general's dead. Let's have half of the army run down these archer auxilia, and then these generals can run down these part or these legionaries that escaped. And that was a nice, easy victory. I'm surprised we didn't lose any generals. I was expecting at least one general to die. But yeah, let's run them down, get some more kills. Glorious. We lost 300 troops, but Scutari are not my priority. I just wanted to kill an enemy general, and I did. Didn't lose any generals of my own. But there we go. This is the problem with the Brutii. They turn their attention to Thurman, thinking that's an easy win, and then I defeat them out in the field. So they don't have enough armies to defend this whole area. Let's send back Denor of Sigabriga to Athens. Let's see if we can get the public order under control here. We'll build some peasants inside the city. That's good enough. And then we'll go ahead and grab some troops from Corinth. We will combine our Scutari in Kemen of Olysipo's army. And let's grab some, what do we got here? Hoplites, Cretans, another general some Balearic and Ronian Slingers, some Cavalry, some more Scutari, and some Peltas. How's this army looking? It's okay, it's a little bit ragtag. We'll grab some Thracians, and we'll just see if we can make that work. At Corinth, they're not too happy with me. We'll build some more peasants. Yeah, they're still not too happy with me. Maybe we'll have to grab some stuff from Sparta. Is that better? Well, now Sparta's unhappy too. <laughs> All right, Sparta is up to 80% public order, and Corinth is up to 70%, which is good enough. Definitely a lot of good enough going on right now. Let's see if we can sink this fleet that has this army on it. Probably not this turn. No, they've retreated again. Any troops on this fleet? No. All right, let's see if we can find this fleet and where it's gone off to. I don't see it, but we'll try to find it next turn. Hopefully they don't... Oh, this is this the fleet I just did? I thought Admiral Herennius, I thought this was it. Maybe it went the opposite direction. That's not good. All right, we have a couple of ships at Sparta. So we'll try to attack this fleet. I don't know if we can win this, though. Can we win this? Oh, where did they go? Probably up back into the Hellespont. We'll go in that direction... And just try and find that fleet and sink it. Because they have a general on that fleet now. They have a decent army. Yeah, we want to sink that fleet. All right, nothing else to do this turn. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And where are we attacked right here? This is by... Oh, yeah. This fleet is probably not going to do well now. Okay, they left them alone. I thought they might get batted back and forth and we might lose that fleet. But we'll get them to Kydonia next turn. We have a new suitable husband for... Verktissa, who's 27 and looks really good. Sharp, command talent, good attacker, and superior commander. That's really good. And he's at Athens. That's useful. We have a lot of generals in this region, but I will use him. This guy, right? Yeah. Yugots of Baikula. I like him. We'll give him some command traits like famous warrior and mercenary captain and shield bearer. And we'll see if we can use Yugots as a general. I don't know if he has enough command stars to actually command this army. Let's see, Yogurts. Yeah, Yogurts is in command, that's good. We'll buy some more mercenaries to fill out this army. And I almost want to just besiege Larissa. Like, that's kind of crazy. I could also attack this army in the back. That might be smart. At Thurman, we might 
sally out first just do some damage to this army and then we'll go pick up this secondary army let's take a look at our announcements first we have some retinue that i transferred over at Numantia, we have more boats but not enough yet to deal with the pirates up here so we'll wait for a bit conde Redonum, we have a warlord's hold we'll get a port here as well cadonia we have a meeting hall we'll go for hall of heroes even though we'll probably never use it uh let's bring this fleet back inside Kaidonia and repair it and we'll get one more ship here and let's see if we can find that fleet that I'm looking for I don't know where it went yeah I don't know where that fleet went with the army on it we'll try and find it next turn Pontus is hanging out here I don't know how Pontus is still in the game I think they have like one city right here and it's under siege but <laughs> yeah Pontus is still in the game I guess uh maybe they have two cities but yeah egypt has totally swallowed them up and we have a, another new general a rookie of munda who came up in tingi in the pink is a good trait but yeah if you're from tingi you're probably not doing much in, with your life so i think he might he might just hang out there for a while for a long while we have some management we need to do in northern africa at some point we can disband some troops and stuff like that, but we'll do it a little later. It's okay. End of turn report. We made another 14,000 denarii and we are besieged at Batavium. Why are we always getting counterattacked by the Broody Eye? Always. They never let up, but this is a mostly pre-Marian army. We could probably sally out and fight them right now at Batavium. I want to keep marching towards a Quincum because it's mostly undefended right now. And I feel like they will fall back from their offensive if we go and take a Quincum. So let's see if we can bribe this army. Should be able to. 25,000 denarii, that's worth it. And any chance we can pick this one up? No, okay. So who's in this army? Yeah, just Primarian stuff. Let's sally out and see if we can win this battle. Who's here? Yeah, they don't have any legionaries. They don't have any Praetorians. We can probably do it. Let's try it out. So in a city like this, you always want to go out of a side gate because you don't want to get like bunched up and unable to get through the gates and then you get attacked. So yeah, we're going to go out through the side gate, get all of our cavalry here and get our general here. And then we'll just take them out one at a time. All right, all the cavalry is outside of the city. The peasants will hang out in the city itself. Don't need them in this battle. And let's just look for a weak link in this army. Over here, Hastadi. I mean, most of this army is pretty weak. If we just commit to one of these flanks and charge, we'll probably break them. Let's move up on to this flank on the double. I would like to break these ballistas, break these war dogs, and these Hestadi on the flank. There are only 94 of them. It's a nice weak target, and then we should be able to start a just general route that should mess up the whole army. But we need to move quickly. We want to strike before they've reformed and kind of countered my plan. So let's get a couple units in here into these Hestadi, a couple units into these Velite gladiators. And anyone else who hasn't been assigned will send it into these Velites and then into these Principes. Let's get our general in here for moral support. These Hestadi should break pretty quickly. Everything here should break pretty quickly. Oh man, we have some morale issues going on. Oh no, we've got a unit broken already. We really need an enemy unit to break here. These Hestadi are wavering. Come on guys, reform, do not break. Oh boy, Hastadi are wavering. Okay, Hastadi have broken. Principes are eager. Get in there, come on. I really need these units to reform right now. Uh, we should have one more break here, right? You guys are way outnumbered. Okay, another break. These Velite gladiators need a break. Good, they've broken. Let's just keep wrapping up this army. At this point, we've lost our momentum unfortunately 
but if we can get these cavalry units that just reformed to charge into these town watch, we may have momentum again. Come on, get over here. All right, charge in over here into this exposed flank, and that should cause some morale issues. Come on. We want to keep an eye on morale. It's not going super well. Let's make them feel surrounded by getting the general over here on this flank. No, I did not mean to hit three times speed. Okay. Charge in here. Just, oh no, okay. Whole army's broken. This is a failure. We're going to cancel this plan. If we can get our general away, I will be happy. Just, just get away. Yeah. I don't know. Could we salvage this? I doubt it. Definitely don't bring the peasants out here. Peasants would be a liability. Is there any way of winning this battle? Well, actually, they've isolated just a couple of units and charged them up. So these units we can definitely break. Let's keep this nice and slow. Break these war dogs. Break these Hastati. They're wavering. Somehow they're just wavering and haven't broken. There we go. Okay, broken. We'll run them down and then we'll reassess. Yeah, I don't see there's any way of us winning this. Let's go ahead and retreat back to the city. We lost 37% of our troops and we only killed 35% of the enemy. So not our best sally. Yeah, I'm not sure how that break started. I think we just lost momentum. Didn't have that charge bonus going. And then their heavy infantry just had the advantage. All right. Sally has been successful. We lost 720 and we killed 779. So it was okay. Could have been better. By any chance, does this mean we can afford to bribe these guys? Oh, maybe they won't. Yeah, they, they're doing the bandying words thing. But next turn, we'll try again to bribe them. And then, yeah, we don't have much left here. We have some bull warriors which could help, but I don't want to start a fight right now because the Bull Warriors alone probably would not do very well. Yeah, we'll see what they do next turn. In the meantime, we'll train up some long shields at Aridium, Ariminum, Mediolanium, and Segesta, just to have some more cavalry in case we need it. And let's sally out at Thurman. Again, we just want to do some more damage with the Cretans. Just see what we can pull off here. I doubt we'll get the same results we had with the slingers last time but you never know we'll try to be a little bit quicker about it this time we'll get our cretans to start the battle right over here get some slingers over here as well just for if they come over to this portion of wall just like that and then let's actually redraw up like this connect to the slingers unit there we go Get the Cretans right here. Beautiful. And then who else is over here? One more unit of Slingers we can put right up here in case they go over to this portion of wall. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Cretans have a shot on something. I'm going to let this play on three times speed just because we're just going to let them get some kills. We'll get some long shields outside of the city again. This time with the general in case he's needed and see if we can pick off a unit. And they've gone into Testudo, so I'm going to turn off the fire at will for these Cretans. And let's get our general and long shields in here to kill these Testudo Praetorians and Legionaries. Yeah. Nice. First unit broke. Second unit should break as well. There we go. Third unit should go the same way. Beautiful. Three units taken out early in this battle. Let's go ahead and back up to here. We'll see if we can get some more shots in with these Cretans if we move them to this portion of wall. Honestly, I don't think it's gonna work out. Let's just bring our cavalry back inside the city. They've moved so far back up this hill that unless, I mean, unless they do this, are they really gonna move back into range of my Cretans? That would be nice. If I could use all my Cretans arrows, I doubt it, but. If they give it to me, I'll take it. But yeah, I'm going to move my cavalry back inside the city because this has been productive. 
I don't need to kill the entire army here. I just want to whittle them down turn by turn. Yep, Cretans do not have a shot. Sally has been successful. Let's go ahead and end it. And we killed 386 of them. So they cannot hold up for much longer at this rate. And let's see if we can reach this army of Harius Voidus. Okay, it pulls both armies into the battle. But I kind of like this army. Who Who's here? Okay, this is a decent army. But we brought Cretans. They don't have any archers at all. This army has no archers. Let's try it out. We'll use our Cretans. We'll use our Illyrians. Use our cavalry. See if we can win this battle. Okay, interesting battlefield. We have some rocks. We kind of have some high ground. We'll try it out. Put the Cretans here. Put our phalanxes in front of them. And guard with some Scutarii. Put them all on fire at will. And then grab some Thracians for this flank. Put some mercenary peltas behind the hoplites, like so. And we'll grab some slingers who we will have run around in front of the army, just skirmishing. And then we'll just have the massive block of cavalry on the flank here, ready to cause mayhem. We'll go ahead and start the battle just see what they do here so they're probably going to wait for the reinforcements let's go ahead and skirmish with our rhodian slingers and guard them with our generals units and yeah just all this cavalry will guard our slingers as the enemy wait for their reinforcements but they don't have any archers in this army so we should be able to just get some damage in with these slingers we will first off fire at these Praetorians. Yeah, just get some damage on them. They'll turn the wrong direction and we'll just keep firing at them. Beautiful. Guard mode on for these guys. Just let them fire away. And they're being charged by some Praetorians right now. Let's just go ahead and pull back. No need to start a fight yeah just get out of there i mean these auxilia are way overextending but i don't want to lose a general so just get back no lost generals in this battle we can fire these auxilia with my slingers since they've overexposed and actually the cretans got some shots in as well so Auxilia have taken some good damage there. We'll just keep firing. And looks like the two armies are trying to reunite. Let's see if we can get some more damage in before this fighting actually starts. Just get in there. Fire some more slings. And I wish we could get some shots in on the enemy general, but it's not practical. We'll just fire off these auxilia and we want to be ready to withdraw if we need to. All right, time to withdraw. And then we'll just fire again. And then withdraw. And this legionary cavalry wants to actually start the battle. So we'll have all of our cavalry go attack these legionary cavalry get our Cretans involved or get our uh, Thracians involved and this unit of legionary cavalry should break right away yep they've broken this unit over here what are you doing get out of there and we lost some slingers to this cavalry charge let's go ahead and get them to safety charge these general in the rear and let's get these general's units to not pursue into this Praetorian unit. Yep. Enemy general has suicided over here. So he should die any second here. Come on, guys. Finish him off. Beautiful. You have killed the enemy general. Now his men shall... And I believe that was a like a family member. So that's good. We're getting some shots in with the javelins 
from the Mercenary Peltas, from the Scutari, and we're just going to charge into these Auxilia. They're wavering. I know charging cavalry into Auxilia is never a good idea, but they are so overwhelmed here that this should be a pretty easy break. Yeah. We've got a lot of breaks happening in the enemy army. Enemy general is not broken yet, but wavering, surrounded by other generals. We may lose a general here, but it's worth it. Enemy general's dead. This unit of Praetorians is shaken. Is this a general right here? No, not a general. But yeah, they've broken. We'll just run down these Praetorians. And yeah, this is a messy battle for them. Messy, messy. Looks like almost the entire enemy army is broken. These hoplites are broken. We'll run them down. Run down these auxilia. Grab these Illyrians. Yeah, just kill anything that we can find. Oh, I didn't even realize on this flank, uh, we have... This isn't going super well. That we haven't won over here yet. I I, I didn't even realize. Um, but there we go. Okay. Now we've won. They were experiencing the same bad morale as the other army. But just hadn't broken yet. Get some kills on them. Run them down. There's some Praetorians over here we need to kill. And that's 97% of the army done. We can go ahead and end the battle. Nice heroic victory for today. We lost about 500 troops, but we killed 1,800. We killed two generals, and both of those armies had no retreat square, so they despawn. So now Larissa is basically left wide open. Let's grab these Cretans from Thurman. We'll grab some Scutari and Bull Warriors, send them over to Yugots, and I will swap them for some weak units of cavalry, Weakened units of Scutari, and maybe some Thracians, yeah. Just the more battered stuff that's not too useful. And yeah, this is a pretty scary army now. Yogurts of Baikula didn't get any new... Did he get... I thought... I don't think he had Superior Commander before. So I think he got a new retinue, even if it doesn't tell us that. And next turn we can besiege Larissa with this pretty scary army. And I mean, they're not doing well. That was a bad loss for them. Because now Larissa is wide open. And then we can just keep picking up these cities. We are about to pick up a Quincum. We just got Segestica. So yeah, they're crumbling quickly. Let's see if we can intercept Captain Caius with my diplomat and bribe him. That'd be nice. And I think that is a wonderful place to leave this part. This has been very productive. We are up to 42 regions, soon to be 43. Once we pick up Larissa, then we will pick up a Quincum. Yeah, we've got a lot of cities lined up for the next few parts. We're almost done with this long campaign. We only need 50 to finish the long campaign. You'll notice in the next few parts, I'm going to start speeding up this campaign a little bit. I think we're going to make it to 50 and then finish the long campaign. And then after that, it'll be kind of an epilogue where I'll speed up slightly. I'm still going to show you what's happening in the campaign, but I don't think most people want to see the same level of detail once you finish the long campaign, just completing the rest of the map. This content's for you guys, so I figure you'd rather get through this campaign somewhat quickly, get a new one started. So that's what we're going to do after the end of the long campaign in eight regions. So probably three or four more parts at this normal pace where we're in doing full detail, every announcement, every battle, every everything. And then we'll switch to a little bit more accelerated style. If you haven't heard, I started a Patreon for this channel, patreon.com slash TD Sniper. Links in the description of this video or in my bio on YouTube. There are three different tiers. At $3 a month, you can join the Parthian Purple Pajama Party, which is mostly just a tier for supporting me a little bit. It gets you a written thank you at the end of my videos and gets you access to some exclusive content on my Patreon. At $10 a month, you can go up to the Senators tier, which gives you voting rights on new videos. We'll be hosting polls on Patreon.com where I put ideas I have for videos and the Senator tier backers can vote on which videos I make each month. I'll also include a special thank you at the end of the video recognizing my senator level backers. 
And if you are crazy and hate your money and want to give me all of it, then you can join the Imperator tier, which is $30 per month, as all the benefits of the Senator and Parthian Purple Pajama Party tiers. But also, you can request literally any video, and I will make it in your honor. So you can also participate in the voting process that the Senators do, and you will get a special thank you at the end of every video, but I will literally just make whatever video you tell me to make. No matter how long it is, or whether it would be good for the channel, I will just make it. So if you want that strange and unusual power over me, you can join the Imperator level on my Patreon. I made this Patreon not because I feel like I should be making a living off of these YouTube videos. I do it for fun, I do it for the interaction with the community. But if I can make some more money from the channel through my Patreon, if you feel like helping me out, I will be able to justify putting more time towards this channel than I already am. I'll never take away videos from my main channel to put on the Patreon. I'll just add new videos if I'm making some money on the side. I don't get monetized on my YouTube channel until I reach 1,000 subscribers, so I still have a long road ahead of me on that front. But if I can make a little money here and there, it'd be really helpful for me. But if you don't feel like backing my channel on Patreon, that's totally fine. I don't expect to make any money on Patreon. I just don't want to leave no way for people to back me if they really enjoy my content, have a few extra dollars a month, and want to support me. So I made this. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. As always, have a great day. Bye-bye.